Along with a revolution in design, which is a massive departure from the current Land Rover Discovery, the all-new Discovery Vision concept also brings a raft of cool technologies to the SUV world. And we're going to hop inside with Dr Wolfgang Epler, Head of Technology for Jaguar Land Rover, to tell us a little bit about those and how it all works. So Dr Wolfgang Epler, all the new cool technologies that the new Vision Discovery concept hopefully will introduce into the new Discovery family, how many of those will actually make it through to production? A question we face daily in research and technology, what will make it into mass production and will be in the car? Yeah. So, my personal view is gesture control is something which is going to happen and will be implemented in the, in the cars. Op opening the window, yes. yes. Opening the door. From the outside, if you are more or less in front of the door, yes, that's something which can be done. To do it from the inside, there are safety critical yeah. items, and safety critical items, I'm convinced, they need to be hardwired, either with a switch or a lock which you yeah. pull or a lever or something yeah. like that. And I love the idea of being able to, um, the head-up display, to show the topography before you actually get there so that it tells you which way to go and will guide you that is the vision which we have, that okay. that is going to happen. That depends on the availability of the technology, the right technology as well. And what you need for, we call it transparent bonnet, is on the one hand side the camera system in front of the car. Secondly, you need the projection system, the laser head-up display. And that laser head-up display is something which is in the pipeline of technology providers. It's not yet ripe for the market for two reasons. Number one, you need the high resolution, you want to see a video more or less of what yes. is behind or below the bonnet. Number two, today the protection in the head-up display is roughly 30 to 90 centimeters in front of the windscreen. Right. What we want to project is further away, three, five, seven meters. Right. And to do that, you need substantially more light power. And that is laser head-up display, which is in development, but it's not yet ready and ripe. What about the uh, ability to uh, predict the depth of uh, water in, ahead of the vehicle? There are two systems. It's either laser or it's radar, which is used in order to scan what yeah. you, the, the human eye can see. Right. And that is something which is not ready for the discovery, which will be more or less an incarnation of that concept car. And my favourite, the uh, remote control. Um, is that something we can uh, hope to see in the next 10 years at Jaguar Land Rover? You can hope to see within the next 10 years something like a remote control, yes. Excellent. Land Rover has also been looking at ways to improve the durability inside their vehicles. Amy Frischella is Colour Materials Creative Specialist at Land Rover in the UK and she designed these seats that are both waterproof and oilproof. The leather that you see on the seats is from Foglizzo, which is a supplier to um, high-end yachts and other kind of... Um, Luxury. Yes, yeah. yes. So essentially, if one gets water or even oil on the seats, it beads up and um, the leather resists it. The, the leather is so robust, in fact, you can take it off, put it in the washing machine, wash it and then put it back. What is the process to do that? Well, it's a, it's a coating process that is obviously proprietary to Foglizzo. You could actually pour water on them and you would see it. Do you think it's something we could expect to see on the next Discovery vehicle, production vehicle? Well, there are definitely thing, conceptual ideas we're looking at for the family, so... Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.